Uh, this is Rebecca Jane from Yoga with Rebecca Jane. Welcome to the second day of our flexibility series. And today we're concentrating on our abductor muscles, the hip abductor muscles. And what that means is, we yet the session just before, uh, we concentrated on a hips. So concentrated on the pretty much the whole hip joint, the, the hip joints themselves, the hip flexors. This one is, there's two little, there's three actually muscles, but I'm gonna speak about the two that people will recognize. It's the gluteus minimus and the gluteus medius. And those, and we know the maximus, gluteus maximus, which are these big muscles back here. So these are the part of, they're all intertwined, but those, these two muscles, there's three actually, it's a fascia, something fascia, they're located on, around where the pelvis and the femur meet. So they're not, they're small, they're not huge muscles, but they tend to get very <laughs> um, short. Um, over time, especially as we get older, the, um, and the, the less we move uh, and we, st we strengthen and we stretch those areas, the more difficult we have with balance, we have walking. Um, it's also that that's, those muscles are necessary for running. So you might find you, you'll, if you have to, you have to run, you'll, you'll find it very difficult. Um, I'm trying to think of all the different areas of our body. It's also when we, we take our leg in yoga from the downward dog and we take our one leg forward to into our lunge, that requires the, those muscles. So today the sequence is going to be a very interesting one. For some it will be new po postures that you've never done before, um, but very uh, very much targeting the, that spa that area, those areas on both sides, and if you do end up, most of us have a, a side that's uh, their uh, abductor muscles of <coughs> the hip abductor muscles a little bit lower than the other one. One, you know, because we tend to lean on one side or the other. This will help create some symmetry between those two. Okay, so uh, we will get started. Sitting up nice and tall beginning with our centering. Centering simply means taking a moment to pause, allow the eyes to close and or look to the ground with a soft gaze and begin to connect with the breath. Bring the breath in to the body into conscious awareness. So every time you take a breath in you feel yourself becoming, you feel that sense of connection. Your mind becomes connected to your body. It also calms the nervous system. It, can, it has a, an effect on just bringing you into the here and now. <clears throat> so let's try and get the breath to about five counts for the inhale and five counts for the exhale. If that's way too much, then cut it down to four or to three, depending on your lung capacity. So take another three breaths here. And then that's gently uh, exhale. Then we're going to come up to standing. <coughs> Once you're up to standing, I want you to stand at the front of your mat and into your standing in your mountain pose, rooting down with your feet, standing nice and tall. Take your shoulders, lift them up to your ears, and roll them back down. Just take a few breaths here, coming back into that ujjayi breath, which is the five counts, if that's what you're doing. Ah. 
And then let's incorporate the, the arms movement with breath, using your arms as the movement, inhaling, reaching the arms up to the sky, and exhaling, floating the arms down. Inhale, lifting up, and exhaling down. Inhaling up, and then exhaling, floating the arms down. Let the arms float next to your sides. If you happen to have a block for the next exercise we're doing, um, feel free to grab it. If you don't, don't worry. It's not necessary. The difference what you'll do if you don't have a block is bring or to bring the legs together. Those with a block are going to take the block between their legs at the, the thin, the most, the narrowest point of your block. Just standing up tall, making sure you have, you don't have a plant in front of me like I do. Let's take an inhale and reach the arms forward and up and then bend the knees coming into a squat. Float the arms down towards the ground and then wrap them behind your knees. Drop your head. Then inhale, sweep your arms back up. If you don't have a block, you'll be squeezing in towards each thigh and then lean back. Take an inhale and exhale, float forward. And then wrap the arms behind you. We'll be doing a few of these. Inhaling, lifting up, and you'll straighten those legs. Lifting, reaching back, coming into a gentle back bend. Inhale and exhale, float forward. Wrap your arms behind. This time I want you to inhale, lift up, stay up, and let the arms float out to the sides, all the way down to your sides, to, to your th outside of your thighs. Just to, to walk a little bit to find, reconnect with the earth underneath those feet, not just the inner edge, not just the outer edge, but the whole foot. This time I want you to inhale, reach your arms up, in front of you and then bend the knees and keep your knees here. Keep your knees in this chair shape. So keep your chair shape. And then from here, you're going to bend the elbows. I'll swing around so you can actually see me coming into cactus arms, but keep the, um, keep the, the, the bottom slightly lifting up keep and then maintain that straight spine, bring the elbows in towards your sides and then just inhale, reach the arms up exhaling so you're hinging slightly forward tipping forward keep that tip inhale reach the arms up exhale bring the elbows back down to your waist so you might be able to feel the muscles that are working here we're working our outer thighs you they'll, we are doing that but we're also obviously working inner thighs inhale lift and lower back and one more time, lift up and then bend the elbows and then come up nice and tall. Take the block from between the legs and let's reach the arms up to the sky. Let's exhale, float all the way down, forward fold. Take a pause here. Let yourself stretch out those legs. Knees bent straight, whatever feels good. Opposite hand, opposite elbow, or take the hands and float them from side to side, coming back to your breath if you've, if you've forgotten. So back to that five inhale and five exhale. The next inhalation, let's come back to center. Let the arms dangle down towards your feet. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, roll up one vertebra at a time. Take your time here. It's called a ragdoll roll. And as you lift up, take your shoulders, roll them back behind you. Let the arms just reach behind you as well. As you lift and stretch out your chest, palms facing one another. And let the arms float back to the outside of your thighs, into to Tadasana. From here, bring your feet hip distance apart. We're going to go through a, a flow. Place your right foot 
in just in front of your left foot, bent knee on the toes. You're going to just let, for the first part of this, this is your first uh, set, you're just going to leave, let your arms dangle and you're going to slide your right foot back. Keep the toes on the ground and then bend in, to come into your lunge. You can always be, you can always place yourself near a wall so you can support yourself and then come back, take an inhale. This time bring your arms up to the sky, bring the foot exactly back where it was originally. Exhale, slide the foot back. It's as if you're skating. Another thing with these abductor muscles, these hip abductors, is that uh, if you like to skate, you need those are the muscles that you need to be able to skate. If you don't skate, maybe you can't. Maybe you'll be able to. And then back. But those, the, the, that's an example of another of another movement or activity that we where we need those muscles to be flexible, to be strong. Now this time bring the foot up towards to the front and then lift it up into a 90 degree angle. Place the foot down and then slide. You will be feeling your left leg, the standing leg, <laughs> talking to you. Inhale, Ooh, and you might get wobbly. Then just hold on to something. Just regain your balance, lift up and then place that right foot down. Let's take an inhale, lift up with your hands to the sky, exhale forward, fold. Let's stretch out those legs. You can bend and straighten, that feels good. Loosening up those, those muscles, these, you know, we often put our hands, you might feel those muscles every once in a while in just everyday life. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, keep the knees bent and let's roll up one vertebra at a time. Ragdoll roll. Take your shoulders, lift them up to your ears and roll them back down. <sighs> Little tiny back bend. And then come, then inhale nice and tall. So now we have the other side. Left foot, again, you can always place your one hand on the wall. Leave the arms on, next to your legs just for this one set. Take an inhale and exhale, slide that left foot back all the way as far as you can until you you uh, you gain the you you create the shape of the lunge take an inhale and exhale slide your left foot forward this time arms reach up inhale and then exhale slide that left foot back see if you can keep the toes sliding on the ground think about skating and then inhale, lift, and just slide forward. Lots of muscular work, tummy work, back, upper, I mean, mid, lower back. Let's slide it one more time back. Not one more time back. One more time in this, with this sequence. Now, what, with your, keep your arms reach, let your arms reach up and lift your left leg to foot off the ground. Inhale, and exhale, lower the foot and slide it back. It's a little hard to talk with this one. And then inhaling, slide forward, lift. One more time, slide, take the foot on the ground, slide it back, quite intense. But absolutely very important. Be careful with your knees, make sure they're always soft, and then take your arms down. And let's just shake out our ankles, just kind of loosen up our hips, so this is the space right on these hip joints. This is the area, those muscles that we're targeting, that we're, we're devoting our attention to today. Okay, let's take our feet and we'll open them wide. So we're straddling the mat. We're going to take an inhale, reach the arms up, make sure the knees are soft here. Exhaling, coming all the way down, forward fold. Make sure your feet are parallel, pointing forward. Let your head drop. Take a few breaths here, just stretching out the backs of those legs. Inhaling and exhaling. Then take an inhale from here. Either fingers stay on the ground underneath your face or on your ankles or on your big toes. 
You can bind those big toes. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, bend the knees, and inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Oops, I've changed the sequence. Exhale, straighten. One more time, bend, breathing in. And as you breathe out, place your hands back underneath your face. And then slowly roll yourself up. One vertebra at a time. Taking your time here, no rushing. Take your shoulders, roll them back. And then bring your feet, turn your heels in, toes out. Straighten those legs. Okay, so for this, this these are called, this is a, um, a goddess pose. So I want you to just bend the knees and take your arms forward as if you're holding onto something in your hands. Take it, inhale, and lift all the way up, straighten those legs. Exhaling, bending. Inhaling, straightening. So lots of muscle work required, especially these glute muscles, the maximus, minimus, and medius. So these are, all of them are working together as a team, as a family. And then down, and one more time, lift up. This time I want you to bend. Take your hands on your thighs, thumbs pointing forward, fingers back. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, twist over to your left knee with your right shoulder. This is just a nice stretch for your spine. Holding, this is a passive stretch here or a st static stretch. Inhaling back to the center, exhaling, twisting to the right. Flushing out your spinal, all the tightness that we've accumulated in our spine, stress, and then inhale back to center. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, lift back up nice and tall, straightening the legs, and see if you can heel toe those feet towards each other till they're hip distance apart. And then come to the front of the mat. Actually, it doesn't matter where you are, you can, wherever is the most comfortable, where you can see me clearly. You don't have to be at the front of the mat for this one. Hands on your hips. Just find, rooting down with your feet. Now, the left leg is, will be the, the uh, standing leg. Knee is soft, and I want you to bring your right foot forward. Point the toe of that right foot, and you're going to draw a circle all the way around to the back, so a half circle. So that's an inhale and exhale, draw that circle back. So just trace the circle back, inhaling around. So you can imagine that these are the exact muscles we're using that we need to be able to do this move, the, the move where we lift our leg out to the side, the move that helps us walk. Let's do one more circle. Just, and then just sw slide the foot all the way around and keep it here, but bring your right leg back, cross it behind your left ankle and bring it next to your right foot. So cross it behind. Now, what I would do here, is you can take your right hand on your right thigh and take your left arm and stretch over to the right. So you're stretching out the, the left hip. And then let's do the other side. Left hand on the left hip and stretch over to the other side. And you can actually use a wall for this and get a, go a little bit deeper, or a chair, which I would recommend if you do this during the day, where you have the wall right here. Which, and then take your back leg, put it forward. And sh let's do a few little shakes, flush it out, shake those thighs. Okay, we have the other leg. Hands on your hips. Left, you can always use a wall to hold on to, one hand on the wall. And take an inhale and exhale, draw that circle. Inhale, exhale, 
coming back. Other inhale, half. Exhaling around. Inhaling, half circle. Exhaling, retracing that circle. This time, one more set. Round as you inhale. And exhaling the other, uh, retracing. This time, inhale half and keep the foot behind you. Cross it behind your ankle, place it next to your right. And then I want you to take your left hand on the, uh, your left, I mean, a hand on your right hip and then stretch over to the right. And then inhale the left hand down and stretch over to the other side. So again, using a wall. I would suggest this type of stretch several times a day to, because we, we want to create more length in those muscles as well as strengthen those muscles and then uncross your left leg and then flush it out. Come to the front of your mat again. Take an inhale, sweep your arms up. Let's exhale, forward fold. Stretch out the backs of those legs, the hamstrings which we'll be start to move into in our third session, which is next. Inhale, bring your hands onto your shins, just lift up halfway. And then exhale, step back into your downward dog. Or if you need an extended child's pose, come onto your knees and do it. Do the same, hold the same shape, but on your knees. Take your tailbone, lift up your tailbone, look between your legs. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, lower the knees to the ground. Sit back into your child's pose. Take three breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. Next inhalation, slide the hands onto your lower back. So, and the palms are facing up. One's on top of one another. It doesn't matter which one. Take an inhale, lift up and off your heels, lift all the way up nice and tall, sweep your arms up towards the sky, lean back. Be careful with a little bit, you get a little bit of vertigo sometimes coming when you move from being very low on the ground to, to reaching upwards, standing upwards. Inhale, lift up, so just do it very slowly. Inhale, lift. Leaning back, exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, lift. So this is help, this kind of flushes out all that, all the lactic acid that we've accumulated in those muscles from doing some of those exercises we just did before. Let's now place the hands in front of our knees. Let's slide onto our tummies. Let's let our feet come together, maybe about hip distance apart or slightly closer. Come all the way down your elbows are out to the sides, maybe even off the mat. Create a uh, cactus arms or a 90 degree angle with both elbows. Elbows and, um, and elbows and shoulders are in line with one another. Though the arms don't come off the ground at all during this. Your forehead and chest and your legs do. So place your forehead on the ground, take a breath in, and as you breathe out, lift your head and shoulders off the ground, chest, and then lift your legs, but open the legs out to the side, making a little V. And then take an inhale, and then exhale, bring the legs back together, lower the legs down, the chest down, the forehead down. Taking an inhale and exhale, lift back up, head, shoulder, chest, and then legs and open them up at the, and then inhaling, bring the legs back together and then exhale, lowering the legs down, chest, forehead. One more time, inhaling, chest, forehead, chest, up, legs up, take an inhale and exhale, open the legs out, breathe in and as you breathe out, bring the legs back together, let lower the legs down, the forehead down, Slide the hands next to the chest, lift back up, press into your child's pose. So wiggle your hips from side to side, just loosen them up. And then come into your tabletop. And then come onto your right hip. We're going to do a few of these. These can actually be done 
Um, we can do quite a few of these, but because of timing, I'm only going to just demonstrate this uh, exercise, but you can add on at a different time or do it at a different time. What I want you to do is create the, like a 45 deg degree angle with your knees, so they're not at a 90 degree angle, they're slightly lower. Left leg reaches straight in line with that left hip, turn the toes slightly down, heels up, take an inhale, push into that forearm that is parallel with the mat, lift your leg up just a little bit, lower it down, not quite, almost touching the ground but not. Inhale, lift and exhale down. Inhale, lift and exhale down. This time, inhale, lift and just bring the leg a little bit closer so that it's directly over your calf. So it's at a, that's a little bit closer here, 45 degree angle here. Toes down, lift up, inhale up, exhale down. So as you know, we are working these hip abductor muscles, right? You can actually feel this happen working. One, and then inhale, lift up, and just one last. So there's three different directions here we're working. Now this, our left leg is directly over our right knee, and then we're lifting up. Remember the toes down, heel up. Ooh, I can feel all these muscles working. And then bring the knee in. Just do a little pat. And then let's come a swing over to the other side. So you're on whatever side. Make sure the knees start out in that, that 45 degree shape. Pushing into that right forearm, giving you yourself support. Take your right leg, reach it straight. As if you're doing a side plank. Turn your toes down and then lift up, inhale and exhale, lower down. Almost touching the ground. Inhale, lift, you're not coming very high exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down. It's time inhale up and just sweep the leg a little further forward so that it's above your calf. Take an inhale and exhale down, inhale up, ex exhale tap or just actually hover. Inhale lift up and exhale down. Inhale lift and this time bring your leg so that it's directly over now your left knee. It's in line with that left leg. Take an inhale and exhale down. Inhale, lift and exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift and exhale, lower down. Whoa! Rebend that knee. <sighs> and then just do a little shake. Coming onto your backs, hug your knees into your chest. This should feel absolutely fantastic. Hugging the knees, you, you're, you will definitely feel some of these muscles either directly after class or maybe tomorrow. Drop the knees to the left, coming into your spinal twist. This is a must after these exercises. Now you're stretching out the muscles we just actually, we worked on, we strengthened, we're doing strengthening. We're strengthening them, now we're stretching them giving them a little bit of a break. And then inhale the knees back up. You can hold those stretches longer if you want. You don't have to follow me. You can stay in these last few stretches a little bit longer. Take your knees over to the right, turn your gaze to the left. And then lift your knees back up. Give yourself one last hug. So these classes are being recorded live. For, so for YouTubers, this is a live class. So it's not perfect by any means. Bring your left leg to the left corner of the mat, the left to the, to the, the right, the right foot to the right corner, as you can see. Pick your left, your, your upper back off the ground, lower down, spin the palms up. So I teach live classes every day, multiple times a day, 30 minutes. You feel free to join or, of course, there's this YouTube video you can watch. So settle into your Shavasana. Let yourself relax here. You might, if you're a YouTuber, you might want to just turn off the video uh, that, because immediately it will swing into it. You will, you will be offered another class. 
So turn it off and just relax for about three to five minutes. I'm going to come up to seal the practice. So the, yes, the interesting thing is these are not, uh, these are classes that you get me in all my glory <laughs> as me. <laughs> um, as I bring my hands in front of my heart, bowing my head to my hands. One of the things I want to take with you today is the breathing. That every time we find ourselves stressed, um, we're uptight, we are confused, Take a breath, and one of the mantras I say to myself is, I, I breathe. That's it. So that immediately when I say I breathe, I pause automatically. And the minute I take a breath, a conscious breath, I'm in the present moment. So don't keep pushing yourself through the stress. Just let yourself take a pause. And that's what we do in our yoga practice pausing, using our breath to keep us in the present moment, going into your shavasana to give yourself a rest, and also sitting in your easy seat to do the same thing. So have a lovely day, everyone. Namaste. This is, this is Rebe Rebecca Jane from Yoga with Rebecca Jane. And if you are a YouTuber, please subscribe. You'll get more of my classes and give me a thumbs up and please comment. See you soon.